grilled strip steaks. So I have Dijon mustard here. I'm gonna brush both sides of the steak with Dijon all the way around. Four finger pinch here. You need to salt a steak this thick very liberally. It's thick, it needs a lot of room to permeate and a good amount of cracked black pepper, same thing. Now, reverse searing. <clears throat> Here's what you need to know. We're gonna be at a very low temperature here. I have a coals on the back third of the grill. Once we get to that 105, 110, the steak is just about done. All we need to do at that point is sear it at the last minute before we serve it. Roast the garlic and chovy butter. We need to roast the garlic. The good news is, is these reverse sear steaks are gonna take about an hour. Roasted garlic takes about an hour. So we're gonna put them in at the same time. I'm gonna cut the root end off the garlic, like so. We're going to place the garlic in our foil. You leave all the skin on there? Yep. We're gonna put a liberal amount of extra virgin olive oil on top. And we're gonna put a nice big pinch of sea salt. So we're gonna wrap this up in a little happy package and we're gonna put it in with our steaks. We'll also cook this in about the same amount of time. All right, the anchovies. Pinch of salt on our cutting board. There's two anchovies here, actually. I'm gonna give them a quick little chop. I put the anchovies on the board, and now I'm just smashing them into a paste with that sea salt. So they're kind of just dissolving, so those non-anchovy people <laughs> aren't even gonna recognize that they were in the butter. So we have our softened butter, our anchovies. I'm gonna cut up some chives. All right, so chives are there. They go in with our butter. I like a lot of pepper with steaks, so I'm gonna go a good couple turns of cracked black pepper, pinch of sea salt, fork. So look, the butter, the chives, the salt and the pepper. We're reverse searing the steaks, Liz, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab these steaks and just start the searing process. Okay. Look, at, look what's happening here. Look at how quick it happens. Yep. Because we put that reverse sear on it, not hot grill. So I have the anchovy, butter, chives, salt, and pepper. <laughs> we fine. roasted a head of garlic. I'm gonna squeeze the head of garlic in with... Ah, oh, that's why perfect. you keep the skin on. Now watch this, Liz. The nice thing about this reverse sear method, you don't have to let it rest too long. So it is still pretty hot on top and we're gonna spread that anchovy, herb, garlic, butter right over top of that. Uh -oh. All right, now, this one is ours. I'm gonna cut them up. Look at it. See that? When you do the reverse sear, it just cooks it real wow. evenly all the way through. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take some flaky salt, flaky salt put oh, it on top. Things. It's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has left the building. I know I'm a chef and I could cook, but like the thing that I feel that I do better than almost anybody is steak. It's really buttery, but it's got that crunchy, almost crust to it. That pop of salt and that anchovy butter is unbelievable.